For thousands of years, individuals have been writing down information to be passed on to others, either to share knowledge or wisdom. But some of that knowledge is so secretive that it was written in a puzzling code that as of today, nobody has been able to decipher. Here are the 10 most cryptic texts nobody can decipher. Number 10 is the Tamam Shud. On December 1st, 1948, a man's body was found on Somerton Beach in Adelaide, Australia. Dubbed the Somerton Man, there was no identification and no clues as to how he died. An examination showed enlarged organs and blood in his stomach, but no signs of trauma or foreign substances. What made this case memorable was a slip of paper in the man's pocket, which had Tamam Shud written on it. Tamam Shud is Persian for finished or ended and the paper was traced back to the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, a book that was discovered in a car close to where the Somerton man had allegedly been before he died. In the last few pages, five coded lines were written in pencil, a cipher which is still unsolved. What does the code say? Who is the Somerton man? And why did he die? To this day, nobody knows. Number 9 is the Diagapiev cipher. In 1939, after authoring a book on cartography, Russian-born English author Alexander Diagapiev decided to write a book on cryptography, even though he wasn't a cryptographer. As humble as he was about his lack of experience, he successfully created a cipher that had even experts scratching their heads for over 77 years. That cipher was on the last page of his book, Codes and Ciphers, on which he invited the reader to test their skill by solving it. But nobody could, and Diagapiev eventually removed it from future printings, claiming that he himself forgot the solution. As of today, the coded message stands as a challenge to many, and while some claim it is simply unsolvable and that he removed it due to seeing his own error, those who take the amateur cryptographer at his word believe that there is still an answer out there. Number 8 is Cryptos. On the grounds of the CIA's headquarters in Langley, Virginia, is a giant sculpture by American artist Jim Sanborn simply called Cryptos. Dedicated on November 3rd, 1990, the copper artwork, which is named after the ancient Greek word for hidden, has baffled experts and amateur code breakers for nearly 27 years. It contains four encrypted messages made from 1,735 letters, all of which are from the Latin alphabet. Sanborn, who went through cryptography training with a CIA code expert, has publicly given out two clues to the puzzle. As of today, three of the codes have been broken. However, the fourth still stumps everyone who has tried to crack it. According to Sanborn, the key to solving the last one is contained within the first three puzzles, which means that this famous cipher may not be considered unsolved forever. Number seven is the Chinese gold bar cryptogram. In 1933, seven gold bars were minted in relation to a business deal between the United States and General Wang Jiali, a military leader in Shanghai, China. They weigh 1.8 kilograms and, if melted down, would be worth about $80,000 today. However, that's not the most interesting thing about them. Each bar is engraved with different symbols and images, including English, Chinese, and Latin characters, in addition to several several strange designs that have yet to be identified. What these images mean is unknown, though allegedly the Chinese writing refers to a transaction of over $300 million. It's been claimed that the bars were deposited by General Wang into the United States Bank shortly after being minted, but that fact has been disputed. It is widely believed that if the ciphers on the gold bars are decoded, that dispute could be put to rest. But people still wonder, was this simply a monetary transaction or something more? Number six is the Shugborough inscription. 
between 1748 and 1763, on the grounds of Shugborough Hall in Staffordshire, England, the Shepherd's Monument was created by Flemish sculptor Peter Shemakers. The piece features a mirror image of Nicholas Poussin painting the Shepherds of Arcadia. However, it also features one of the world's most famous unsolved ciphertexts. Carved into the monument directly underneath the image and between the letters D and M are the letters O U O S V A V V, a series of characters nobody's been able to explain to this day. One theory suggests that the letters refer to the location of the Holy Grail or some other treasure, while others look at it as simply a practical joke to keep people guessing. A large number of experts have studied the code, but none have ever been able to come up with a solid explanation. Number five is the Phaistos disc. The Phaistos disc was discovered in the Minoan Palace of Phaistos on the island of Crete, Greece by Italian archaeologist Luigi Pernier on July 3, 1908. The disc is 15 centimeters in diameter and is made of fired clay. But what makes this artifact truly unique are the seals that have been stamped on both sides of it. The 241 symbols spiral clockwise towards the center and there are 45 different designs in total including humanoid figures, plants, animals, and tools. Experts still can't determine why the symbols are arranged the way they are, or what they're actually saying. Though it's obvious how the disc was likely made, where it was made has been strongly debated. This question, along with what the symbols represent, and what the disc was actually used for, make it one of archaeology's most famous mysteries. Number four is the Zodiac Killer's 340 letter. Between December 1968 and October 1969, the Zodiac had the people of Northern California staying home or traveling only in groups, terrified of becoming the serial killer's next victim. He had five confirmed kills, but claimed he had taken 37 lives. He enjoyed taunting the authorities and press, sending them at least four cryptograms that he claimed would reveal his next victims and his own identity. One of the coded messages was 408 characters long and was solved in a matter of days, revealing Zodiac believed his victims would be his slaves in the afterlife. However, another cipher, this one 340 characters long, has never been solved, though it's been released to the public. You yourself can literally solve the Zodiac's coded message right now and potentially help identify who this killer was. Why is this relevant? Because it's believed that the Zodiac Killer is still out there. Number three is Ron Gorongo. Initially discovered by Eugene Irod, a lay friar of the Roman Catholic Church, on January 2, 1864, the Rongorongo writing is a set of symbols etched into 26 wooden tablets. The etchings were found on Rapa Nui, better known as Easter Island, a remote volcanic island located in the South Pacific Ocean that's world famous for being home to nearly 400 moai, giant carved human statues with oversized heads created between 500 and 800 years ago. The etchings have never been decoded and some believe that they may not be writing at all but simply pieces of art. Regardless, they are considered one of the biggest unsolved linguistic mysteries on earth. The hope is that with the deciphering of the Rongorongo writing, the mystery surrounding the fall of the Easter Island civilization will finally be solved. Number two is Linear A. Discovered by archaeologist Sir Arthur Evans, Linear A was a writing system used between 2500 and 1450 BC, aka Ancient Greece. It was popular in palace in religious writings within the Minoan civilization, and although it evolved into Linear B, which has been almost totally decoded, the initial style is still largely a mystery. Deciphering Linear A has proven to be incredibly difficult, even though it seemingly shares 
Wars symbols with its more evolved version. It has hundreds of signs relating to syllabic, ideographic, and semantic values, so many that it's hard to determine if the words are formed left to right or right to left. The complexity of Linear A makes the Mycenaean civilization's decision to switch to Linear B appear totally rational, as even the best minds of today cannot crack it. And number one is the D-Day Pigeon Cipher. On June 6, 1944, D-Day in World War II, a pigeon carrying a coded message landed on a rooftop in Bletchingley, England and somehow died, its message seemingly lost. That is, until David Martin tore out the chimney in his home and found the bird's remains. The coded message was still intact, but the encryption was very complex. Addressed only to X02 from W. Stott SJT. The code was written as 27 groups of five letters and had been sent from France, which at the time was occupied by the Nazis. Though hundreds of people wrote to the GCHQ with their solutions, all were carefully examined but none were found to be correct. This incredible piece of history has still not been solved. So, those were the 10 most cryptic texts nobody can crack. And if you enjoyed this, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing, because I release new videos all the time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.